A couple of questions uh, that people have been asking, so I'll just uh, fire them at you here. Um, one, of, one of the questions is, uh, um, how does it determine what the, how do, what are these things looking for to figure out number one if a program's installed, and number two if it's actually up to date? What I mean, what? Oh man, now, now you're asking there? for the secret sauce, right? I mean, that, that, that's, <laughs> that's kind of like where all those hundreds of hours and Chase's gray hairs have come from. Um, so yeah, I mean basically let's if we look at these agent procedures, so let's take um well, I mean let's take something simple like the Mozilla Firefox audit. Uh you can go look at all these procedures and analyze them yourself and and um and and see see what's going on. So what we have here is uh we basically pull uh information from a text file that we keep updated with what the latest version is. And then what we do is we look at a registry, we, we research the stuff and we find the registry entry that contains what the latest version is and we compare that. And based on the value, we're going to go in there and, and either update or tell you it's out of date or tell you it's um, up to date, you know, that it's current. Now this is a simple script, okay, something like Firefox. When you start looking at things like the Adobe Reader Audit, which is probably the, the just Mount Everest of of scripts here. Um, it's pretty flippin' involved. Okay, anytime you guys want to sit down and write that yourselves, knock yourself out. Okay, because you can see we're going back researching up to version six, seven, eight, nine. We've had to deal with ten differently. So all this stuff is is you know we're looking at it and and uh, evaluating it. So the scripts are actually smart enough to determine, like they they check the major version numbers and they also check the sub versions too. So they, yep. I mean, yep. this is so we know exactly. Yep, we know exactly what version. It's not it, it down to the dot, you know, dot one, you know, dot zero, dot one, you know, whatever whatever methodology they've used. Um, we've tried to make sure that we compare correctly and can tell you what's installed and then also you know what the the, the this file that you see up here, this reader.tech, we have to update that, right? So we have to keep that up to date. So when we see a new version come out, we have to go and update that. Otherwise, your, your data is going to be incorrect. But, um, you know, that, that's really the magic is just sitting here and researching this stuff, finding these variables, um, and pulling them all together into, uh, you know, a program and then testing it on, you know, a bunch of machines to make sure that it's working.